Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandanti again and today I will talk about the law of sines and cosines, okay? Here we go. Okay, when we talk about law of sines and cosines, we are actually referring to an oblique triangle, meaning it is a triangle that has no right angle. Remember that a triangle has six measurements, the three angles and the three sides. And to find any unknown angles or sides, you need to know at least three of the measurements. Now, any combination of three measurements except that of all three angles, then it's enough to work out the rest. And when you need to find the value of a side or an angle in a triangle that contains no right angle, so I'm talking about the oblique triangle, you can use one of the two rules, the sine and the cosine rule. That's another way of sign, saying the law of sines and cosines. And of course, that is depending on what you know about the triangle, okay? Before giving examples, let's get to know first about the formula of the law of sines and cosines. So here we go for the law of sines. This is actually invertible, okay? And the law of cosines, it depends. If you are looking for the side, you make use of this formula. Otherwise, this is the corresponding formula if you are going to make you, if you're going to look for the angle. By the way, maybe you will be asking where did we get this law of sines and cosines formula. You can just actually search this in the internet or if you are my student, you can just check it in your book. It's there and soon I'll be uploading on how are we going to find out the formula of the law of sines and cosines, okay? Let's start with law of sines first. And remember this, that law of sines is the best choice if you have this condition, side, side, angle, meaning two sides and an angle opposite one of those sides are known. Can you look at this illustration? You have there the side, side, angle, and this angle is opposite to this side. And if you are trying to find the other angle, let's look at here, which is the X, then to solve for X here, we have to make use of the law of sine. Okay? Now, let's solve for x. Now, to solve for x in this given illustration, just simply look at the given and compare it to the formula. So, there, the side, which is 49, is opposite to 115, which is the angle. So, just simply 49 over 115 is equal to 115 um, 16, which is the opposite side to angle x. So, that's why you have there 16 over sine x, okay? And then, just simply cross-multiply. And then there you go, you have 49 times sine x is equal to 16 times sine 115. And then dividing both sides by 49 to solve for x. So here we go, you have sine x is equal to 16 times sine 115 divided by 49. To solve for x, just simply divide both sides by sine. And what will happen now, this dividing by sine, we can just invert it into um, sine to the power of negative 1. And there, using the calculator, I will be attaching here on how to solve. The value of x is equal to, is equal to 17.21 degrees. Okay? Okay, here's another condition where in the law of sines is the best choice if you have the given condition. Angle, angle sides are given. Meaning two angles and one side are known. Look at the illustration here. You have the two angles and one side and you are trying to find the missing side or missing sides, then you will make use of the law of sines, okay? Now, let's solve for x. Now, to solve for x, we need to find out first the missing angle here. So, since we have two angles now, remember that the sum of all the angles in a triangle is equal to 180, so just subtract 180 by 22 and 48, and then, the value of this missing angle here is 110 degrees. Why we need to find out this angle? Because this is the angle which is opposite to the missing side, okay? Now, let's form the equation. You have there 15 is equal to I mean 15 sine 22 over sine is equal 22 to degrees. x divided by the sine 110 degrees. So, that will be your equation. Now, to solve for x, just simply cross multiply, divide both sides by sine 22 degrees, and then there you go. By making use of the calculator, the value of x is equal to 37.63, okay? So that is the measurement of x. 
Okay, up next is the law of cosines. And remember this, that law of cosines is the best choice if you have the given condition. First one is the SSS, meaning side, side, side. The length of all three sides of a triangle are known. Look at this. All the, tri all the sides here are given. And you are trying to find an angle. So how do we solve this? We are going to apply the law of cosines, okay? Now, let's solve for x. Okay, to solve for x here easily in the given illustration, just simply um, make use of the formula here. Look at this, the side opposite to x, we are going to write it first. So, this is 30 squared is equal to um, the other remaining sides. You square it, 37 and 55, and then minus the product of 2, Look at here from the, list, from the formula, times 37 and 55, the other two sides again, cosine x. And then through algebraic calculations, okay, we are transposing 37 and 55 on the other side. And then dividing by the product of negative 2, 37 and 55. And then divide again by cosine, so that's why you now have here cosine negative 1. Through the power of the calculator, the value of x, can you look at here? The value of x is equal to 30.85 degrees. And don't forget to write degree because this is, the missing here is an angle, okay? And here's another condition about the law of cosine. Law of cosines is the best choice if SAS, side angle side. Now, meaning two sides and the enclosed angle or included angle are known. Okay, look at this illustration here. You have the side angle side. This is the included angle. And you are trying to find the side of the opposite angle. Then the best method or the best law to apply here is the law of cosines. Okay, now let's solve for x. Okay, to solve for x here in the given illustration, just simply look at the formula of the law of cosine and substitute the given values. So since x here is missing which is the opposite side to 87 degrees so here we go our equation now is x squared is equal to 13 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 okay from the formula times 13 times 24 the other two sides given and the one and then we get now the cosine of the angle which is included the one in between the two sides given so there you go solve it algebraically Okay, by squaring both sides, by getting the root on both sides rather. So here we go, by making use of the calculator, we just enter it everything in the calculator and the value of x is equal to 26.9. Kindly check how it is being done in the calculator, okay? And that's all about the law of sines and cosines. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye!